what's up what's up what's up youtube welcome back and today is a quick little update so we're inside of the new little well new to me work car and um i went to the dmv guys and i sat in that long line titled registered the vehicle got all this paperwork done i got some custom plates it was a little bit of a fight to get them but I got some custom plates. It was it was about to close and the people didn't feel like really going the whole nine yards, me filling out the paperwork, getting custom plates. So <sighs> talked them into letting me do it. So now I did that. Um, I still have to get the vehicle registered. No, not registered, but insured. So that is on its way next. And while I'm here, right, I got this car for a decent price. It has some engine check lights. Step number one, it needs a new EGR valve. Step number two, the engine coolant temp sensor number two is acting up. So I'm thinking about swapping the number two to up top and then up top to down low. That way I can, um, when the new one comes in the mail, I can just easily accept access the bad one that's going to be up top. So let's get to it guys. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. Hey, quick question. Yep. I have a uh, 2006 Honda Civic. Okay, give me a one second. Let me log into the website. Thank you. You're welcome. So you said 2006 and it was a Honda Civic, correct? Yes, ma'am. All right, and what can I help you with? And I need a pigtail connector for my engine coolant temperature sensor. So yeah, guys, um, what ends up happening is this was hanging off of there. So I don't think that it's actually the, uh, I don't think it's the center. I think it's, it's obviously just this, so. So it's not the coolant temp sensor, right? Yes, it's the engine coolant temperature sensor. But, okay, I do have one for $30. But just the, uh, just the pigtail connector that you connect to the back of it. The wiring. The wiring? Yeah, just the wiring. Okay, okay, give me a second. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, guys, so now that I'm back, after being on the phone with a couple, couple different places, this is the best solution that I have. On Amazon and eBay, they don't have the Honda ECT pigtail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go to the junkyard tomorrow in Racine, Wisconsin. They still allow people in the junkyard. So I'm going to go out there. I'm going to get one of these. I am going to buy an EGR valve. I am also going to look for a new armrest. I'm going to be great. I also uh, I got all the tools I'm going to need for tomorrow set out already so I'm, I'm ready organized and uh, it's not gonna cost me that much but it is gonna be a nice little trip to Racine from Monday line well it is gonna be a nice little trip so listen guys I'm just taking this one step at a time I'm gonna just go ahead and leave the car up on the jacks because uh it's no point of driving it off driving it back on when it could just stay there so uh for the most part man listen this is just a slow process just trying to figure out what's all wrong with it oh yeah also when i'm at the junkyard i might cut out some some panels from cars that i see out there that aren't aren't as rusted out and i could just probably weld some stuff together on this so who knows man just stay tuned this is gonna be a nice little build gonna be a nice little car for road trip purposes, for getting back and forth to work purposes. But so far she is titled, um, she is titled. I just have to get the, the license. What is it called? The insurance, I gotta get the insurance right. So yeah, man. Until next time guys, hit that like button, comment something down below, somewhere down here guys. It's truly appreciative. And until next time, peace.